This is a tutorial on how to back up photos that you have contained in your Picasso library to a CD or a DVD. This is not to be confused with a GIF CD. This is a method to archive your photos and all their adjustments and any metadata or meta tags that you've added to the photographs. You can use this CD to transfer to another computer that has Picasso and import directly. Or, if you decide to delete these photographs from your computer's hard drive, and then later on load these photographs in the computer, you can simply use this CD to bring them back in, and your library will contain all the adjustments and everything that you've done to those photos originally. You start off creating your backup by selecting tools and backup pictures. I'm going to create a new set here. I'm going to call it Incline Village Women's Golf Club 2010. This is going to be a CD or a DVD and I currently have a CD loaded in the computer. I click Create. Now I need to select which folders if you notice here these folders have checkboxes next to them. Originally, because it did not have checkboxes, the only time you'll see these checkboxes is when you're going to do something like back them up. Now I'm going to select folders. Now I'm not sure if this is the correct folder. Yep, that is correct. If you want to see which folders you're selecting. No, I don't want that folder. So that's the last folder. Okay, now we're ready to create our set. So I'm going to click Burn. And you'll see that it's preparing to write here. It is preparing the files and all the adjustments. If you decide to cancel, you click over here in this area and a cancel box will come up. Let me show you. I'm going to click Don't Cancel so I don't lose my files. And again, you click here to cancel. And now it's preparing to write to CD. The writing process has begun. And it's telling me that it's going to require 390.5 megabytes of the CD, which is about a little more than half of what a 700 megabyte CD can hold. Okay, as you can see, the photographs have finished writing to the CD. The CD is currently closing its session. Sounds like the CD drive is finishing. I can eject the CD or show the CD. I'm not going to uh, load it, but you can see here this gives you the opportunity to restore from backup. Since I don't need to do that, I'm going to cancel. And that finishes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.